Durable goods orders coming in this morning. A little bit of a disappointment on the headline number. Kathleen Madigan, the uh, Newswire's economics reporter, going to break it down for us. So, Kathleen, um, a big hit to the mar to, to the economy. I, I would put it more on the cautious column. Um, it, you know, and for those people who are hoping that the economy was was really getting stronger as opposed to just firming up, this has got to be a disappointment. And, and um, it also the the numbers we got set up. G first quarter GDP is looking. Um, sadder than, than a lot of people expected, even with the really warm weather. The shipments for January and February for um, what we call capital goods, non-defense capital goods, excluding aircraft, which is kind of a proxy for business uh, equipment investment, they're actually down from the fourth quarter average. So instead of business spending adding to economic growth, it's actually subtracting fr from it. A and that's got to be a concern because consumers are spending, but you know, they really can't do everything themselves. Right, right. And you talk about the GDP figures. Uh, it seems like economists are expecting somewhere in the range of 1.9 to 2.1 percent, which is, I mean, it's not recession levels, right. but uh, it's still not great though. And it, it's not strong enough to continue these 250,000 a month job gains that we've seen. And of course, that's going to be a big concern uh, for the economy and, and for you know the U.S. in general going forward. The big thing with this durable goods report, though, is if you look at the headline number in January, the previous month, that was way down. It was down like 3.7%. Yeah. Uh, this month was then up uh, about 2.2%, a little bit lower than what yeah. economists were expecting. But, uh, you know, this report tends to be volatile on a month-to-month -month oh. basis. So it's hard to, you got to take it with a little bit of grain of salt. But that said, though, I mean, I, I guess it just goes back to the point that you said that, you know, it, the economy, yes, is firming, but it's not exactly, you know, really getting getting really strong. At this yeah, point. yeah, and some of the January weakness reflected the end of a tax credit mm -hmm. um, in 2011, and that that is really one of the big contributors for the um, the wobbliness and all that. But um, the the economists at T Rowe Price actually put out a really interesting chart this morning that they look at capital spending plans among the. Um, regional Fed factory surveys and then push it about six months forward and they actually see that capital spending is going to rise in the next half year. So that actually may suggest that um, the February number in May was just an anomaly and spending is going to go back up which was, again would be a big plus. Kevin.